Emily Sisson turned one of the worst days of her running career into a breakthrough achievement in just over a year. Sisson shattered the U.S. Olympic trials record in qualifying for the 10,000 meters to earn her first trip to the Olympics. It came a year after Sisson didn't finish while attempting to qualify in her first choice of events, the marathon. It definitely stung, yeah, but I mean, uh, my work ethic, it doesn't really change no matter what my previous result was. So uh, whether I had a great previous performance or um, a not so great one, I'm kind of always like, uh, like looking ahead to the next thing. Um, and so, yeah, I just kind of threw myself into track training and I've really been enjoying it. I've been enjoying being back on the track and um, feeling a little faster than when I was marathon training. It's been a long 18 months, but it's been fun. Sisson was born in Menominee Falls and spent most of her early childhood living in Germantown. She also spent her freshman year at the University of Wisconsin. She now lives in Phoenix. I like think about those like winters and uh, especially my freshman year at Wisconsin, um, how I trained through that. I'm like, wow, I think I've gone softer. I don't know if I could do that <laughs> now. I probably couldn't. I don't think I could. What I think of when I think of my childhood is all like my neighborhood friends. I would just like walk to each other's houses and um, bike around. And like we were going to like the park together and literally outside all the time. She's not ready to commit to anything yet, but Sisson seems like she's not planning on being just a one time Olympian. But the goal would be to keep competing and um, try to go again um, in the marathon for Paris. Uh, but I'll have to see. I think like, it's been such a long um, Olympics cycle. In a couple of years, I'll start like think more about Paris. But um, I feel like we've been in an Olympic buildup for a really, really long time. Lance Allen, TMJ4 Sports.